Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain and today sit a while for we are playing some more franchise Aki Manager 6 as part of the Ottawa Senators. So in the last episode we played in October of 2002 and we managed to get a pretty decent record of 6 and 2. Uh, other than that, it was pretty uneventful, except for the fact that I have a lot of players playing at a point-per-game pace, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, right now, we only have Derek Morris uh, that's hurt. He's only day-to-day, -day, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, and as usual, I did some... Uh, Looking around on the trade blo trading block, see who's available. Uh, there's a very good player that's available, but I am not going to attempt to get him. Uh, that player is Mika Kiprusov. I don't really need goaltending right now. Uh, I'm pretty happy with Ryan Miller and Tim Thomas. Actually, I'm probably going to try to hold on Ryan Miller for as long as I can. And for as long as he's, you know winning us games so not going after him there were a couple other interesting names but not enough to throw myself at them guys like andy delmore uh, were available but uh, not gonna make a move i'm pretty strapped for money anyway i'm gonna have to make some tough choices uh, come season's end so i don't need to add to the puzzle i guess unless i were to try to trade an expiring contract or something like that but uh, maybe later we'll see so uh, november is here it looks like it's gonna be a pretty busy month so let's get going <clears throat> All right. Oh, here's a name that I'm not necessarily happy to see. <laughs> so the owner changed, and here is Eugene Melnick. And he's very unhappy with my work. Oh, Brian Murray and... Pierre Dorian, how oh, I feel you. Alright, so we're gonna try to make him happy, I guess, by... I don't know how. I don't think it's even remotely close to possible to place that owner in real life. Now, is it possible in the game? Only time will tell. Oh... Alright, so we are about to play the Red Wings, so Detroit, as usual, is really good. They've been really good all the time since we started this, uh, so that's nothing new. Um, so Detroit is 8-2, and two. obviously we haven't played them yet this year, so let's take a look at their lineup. So we have no injuries there. And then Chris Osgood and Marty Turco in net, that's pretty rock solid. Nick Lidstrom, then Miguelis Curtis crashed in. Uh, is it Jason? Justin Curse. Oh my god. Okay, so there's the. the display issue for the pictures again. Uh, looks like I didn't catch it prior to shooting the video, so I apologize. We're gonna be stuck with that for an hour or so, so. I'll have to fix it before the next video. This is annoying. I wish they could figure it out. Uh, Mike Weaver, Kozlov, Zetterberg, Avery, Illinen, Rob Zamuner, Craig Conroy, Fedorov, Ray Ferraro still playing at 38. Alright, so they have a pretty good team. So, what else is there to say? It's gonna be a tough game. All right, Chris Osgood in net for Detroit. We are going with Tim Thomas. And we won 4-3, so pretty tight game, which was to be expected. Two pretty good teams playing each other. The shots are pretty even. We outshot them 34-32, to so again, pretty uh, equal there. Uh, Patrick Eliash was the first star of this game. He had a goal. Steve Eiserman was the second star with a goal and an assist, and Marian Osa was the third star with an assist. We had 16,176 people in attendance. Uh, Alexey Yashin opened the scoring in the first on the power play from Datsuk and Thornton. It was 1-0 Sands after one. Then Brian McCabe made it 
2-0 Sands in the second, assisted by Alfredson and Thornton. Uh, then Detroit uh, would score twice, so it was t tied at 2 after 2. Then Bill Guerin scored his fifth of the season from Sharon Sheldon Surrey, made it 3 to 2. Eliash scored from Osa and Alfredson, it was 4 to Sands. And then uh, with 3.30 to go in the third period, Steve Eiserman scored on the power play, made it 4 3, but we held on to the win. Uh, Trevor Linden extends his point streak to 14 games with a goal against the Wild. Alright, and in three days we're going to go and play in Colorado against the Avalanche, so it's going to be another tough game. Right, Turner Stevenson is available. I'm not going to pick him up. Yanni Lacanon is also available. I am not going to pick him up. And Jamie Storr. Also not going to pick him up. Suspension over for Nick Boynton, who was freshly acquired by Buffalo when he got suspended. Back in the lineup. Nathan Dempsey lights the lamp. He had a hat trick, three goals against the Rangers. Good job. Red light stays on for Timu Solani as well, who had four goals and two assists against Nashville. Participated to all of the goals for his team. Pretty good game for Timu Solani. All right. Oh, Cristobal Hewitt is available. Yeah, I'm not going to pick him up, but interesting. Trevor Linden's point streak ended at 14 games. It was held scoreless against Colorado. And that's the team we're about to play. Open Ice leads to a productive night for Steve Eiserman, who had four assists against Chicago. Pretty good game for Steve Y. And Derek Morris is ready to come back. Alright, so we are about to play the Avalanche. So Colorado is 6-5-1 and one for 13 points. So playing close to the 500 mark is not something Colorado has done a lot since I started this. Well, Quebec Nordiques slash Colorado Avalanche. <clears throat> Alright, so they do have an injury. Uh, Michael Sikora is not going to play this game. Uh, Peter Budai and Craig Biddington in net. Not all that great. Uh, John Michaels Lyles, Robin Regeer, Lawrence Nicolet, uh, Chris Allen, Bob Bugner, Foot Amaric, Hidok Tange, Bo. Well, Sundin, Parrish, Samuelson. All right, so uh, shaky goaltending, average defense, and really good offense. That's the Avalanche in a nutshell. Now, let's see how we fare against them. Tim Thomas is going to be in net for us, and Craig Bennington is going to be in net for Colorado. And it's a tie. 3-3 three, three is the final score. Alright, no victor in this game. We did outshoot Colorado 40-32. to 32. Uh, Roman Hammerlick was the first star. He had two assists. Nicholas Avlid for us was the second star with an assist. And Owen Nolan, the third star with two goals. So Owen Nolan opened up the scoring in the first, uh, but then Mike Fisher scored his first from Brian McCabe and Matt Cullen. And then Patrick Eliash scored on the power play from Yashin and Thornton, made it 2-1 to one, Sands after one. Then Colorado tied it at two, and then we took the lead. Zdeno Oshara scored from Nicholas Avlid. It was 3-2 to two after two, uh, but then Mark Parrish scored in the third period uh, with 7-10 to go. And... It's tied at three. So that was the final score. Okay. Derek Morris about to come back in the lineup. If he hasn't already. 
All right, and we are about to play at home. So we went to Colorado for a game, then we're coming back at home to play against the LA Kings. And none of those players, Kudashov, Zuzin, and Le Scott Lachance, uh, none of them are going to be picked up by me on waivers. Suspension over for Peter Svoboda in Buffalo, back in the lineup. All right. And Derek Morris is completely recovered, which is great. All right, so we are about to host the LA Kings. So it's a little bit difficult for Los Angeles right now. They are 4, 7, and 2 for 10 points. We haven't played them yet, so we're going to look at their roster. Uh, Zish Thomas Zischka. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, well, he's hurt. He's not going to be playing this game. So Byron Defoe and Andrew Raycroft in net. Denis Grabeshkov, Corvo, Zichka, Francis Cabardi, Zitnik, Rob Blake, Kimo Tsimon, and Lubomir Visnovsky on D. Bednar Frolov, Eastwood, Kanko, Robitai, Camilleri. Lehu, Lang, Sean Pranger, Sean Van Allen, Eric Belanger, Brad Shorter, and Wes Walls. Okay. This is a, a bit of a weird mix of a team. They have decent D, not great goaltending, and okay offense, but not great. Let's see if I can beat them. Andrew Rekroff is going to be in net for Ellie, and we are sending some Thomas again. And we won 5 to 1. All right, we outshot them 48 to 26. Alexi Yashin was the first star of the game, he had a goal and two assists. Daniel Alfredson was the second star with two goals, and Nicholas Avlid was the third star with an assist. We had 15,282 people in attendance. At a First goal was scored by Daniel Alfredson from Yashin and Dako. It was 1 0 Sands after one. Then Magnus Arvidsson scored from Yashin and Avlin, made it 2 0. Uh, but uh, almost a minute later, uh, Caberly scored for Ellie, made it 2 to 1. Uh, but then Alexi Yashin scored on the power play from Thornton. It was 3 to 1 after two. Then in the third period, Daniel Alfredson scored from Mike Salinger and Joe Thornton on the power play from Shara and Eliash. Both Alfredson and Thornton scored their fifth goal of the season. So 5-1 is our final score, and we won this game. Mike Madano has recorded a thousand games, and he had an assist to celebrate that against Toronto. Good job for Mike Madano. Uh, and Mario Lemieux score, uh, signed an extension uh, for one year, I think. Okay, well, they say that it's going to be 1.36 million per year, but they don't say how many years. So I'm going to guess it's one year by the way that the email was structured. But. Uh, I don't know that for sure. I would have to go and check, and I don't care all that much. Lemieux is 37. He's still a five-star player, though. All right, so we are about to face Boston. Uh, Boston is 8-4 and four, uh, for 16 points, and we have played them this year so far. They had shut, uh, shut us out in Boston 2 nothing earlier. We're playing in Boston again, so let's avenge that loss with a great 8 to 1 win. Let's see if we can do this. Do this. So Tim Thomas in net for us, Yevgeny Nabokov in net for Boston. And we lost 3 to 2. So it looks like Boston is giving us problems this year. So Boston outshot us 30 to 27. Glenn Murray was the first star, he had an assist. Zdeno Shara the second star, he had an assist as well and David Viborny now playing for Boston. Scored a goal and is the third star. So Bill Guerin opened up the scoring in the first from Shara and Dackel. Made it 1-0 after one. 
Then Yeshin scored in the second from Avlid and Volchenkov, made it 2 nothing after 2. But Boston would score three unanswered goals in the third period, including the game winner with 14 seconds left to go into the game. That one hurts. We could have gone to overtime, but we didn't. All right, suspension for Minnesota's Jason Smith. He's going to miss two games. And we are about to play the Islanders in Long Island. Oh, Marty Yarventi is available. I am not going to pick him up. Now, I do remember Marty Yarventi. He was a defenseman drafted by Montreal. He played like one game in the league or something. He really didn't play for very long. Alright, so we are playing in Long Island against the Islanders. The Islanders are 6, 8, and 1 for 13 points. So struggling a little bit. Maybe because Ray Ferraro is not there anymore. Alright, so Luongo and Di Pietro in net. Yeah, that's way strong. They should trade one at the very least. Ancian and Daryl Sidor, Dick Tarnstrom, Wade Redden. Huh. Wade Redden goes back to the Islanders. Eric Brewer, Vladimir Malakov, Stefan Kaital, and D. That's a okay D. It's not superstar, but it's okay. Uh, Sean Bergenheim, Todd Bertuzzi, Jason Blake, V. Pelton, and Taylor Payet, Ispan Knudsen, Marty Murray, Pat Kevin, Pierre Turgeon, Victor Hubel, Ty Domi, Jean Pierre Dumont, Rafi Torres, and Zygmunt Palfi. Yeah. Alright, so they have great goaltending, okay D, okay forwards, I guess, overall. So they're okay. Tim Thomas in net for us. Rick DiPietro in net for the Islanders. And we won 5-2. to two. Uh, We outshot the Islanders 47-29 to 29 in this game. Anton Volchenkov, of all people, is the first star. So the A-Train scored his first NHL goal with a goal and an assist. Alexi Yashin was the second star with a goal and two assists, and Andreas Dackel was the third star with a goal. So we took a 4 0 lead into the first period. Uh, Marian Osa scored from Surin Zeden Oshara, and then Bill Guerin from Volchenkov and Yashin, Yashin from Datsyuk, and Dackel from Alfredson and Yashin. 4 0 after 1. <coughs> Then the Islanders scored a goal at the start of the second period, but Anton Volchenkov would score his first in his career from Avlid and Arvidsson, 5-1 after two. And then uh, the Islanders scored in the third, made it 5-2. That's your final score. Uh-oh. Also, day-to-day -day with Amstring, Amstring Cramp. God, that was a mouthful for me. Alright, so hopefully he's only day to day for real. Oh, yeah, he might even play. Ha! Uh, Radoslav Suchi, Kentuskins, and Ted Drury are available. Not interested. Oh, Ted Nolan just lost his job. He was a coach for the Hurricanes. He is gone. Jim Schoenfeld is the new coach for the Hurricanes. And Jason Smith is back from suspension in Minnesota, back in the lineup. Uh, Marcus Neslin is suspended in Philadelphia. He's going to miss seven games. All right, and we are about to play the Florida Panthers. So the Panthers are 11th in the East with a 6-9-2 record. So they are not dead last or thereabouts anymore. They're starting to get some points. Still not a great record, but maybe they're starting to be better. Maybe because they have Jay Boomister now. So we have not played them this year, this year so far, so let's take a quick look. John Graham and John Van Beesbrook in net. Van Beesbrook is 39. 
Then Jay Boomister, Kenny Janssen, Thomas Malek, Denny Gauthier, Todd Roloff, Carl Dykhouse, Kelly Hules, Depenta. Oof. Yeah, that D is a uh, hell shaky. Yeah, Shvidki, Patrick Shelberg, Tuoko, Samsonov, Green, Lindgren, Canali, Paye, Nilsson, Jamal Mayers, Mellon, Jan Johnson, and Uselius. Oof, that... Yeah, that offense is not too... Uh, not too scary. Of course, they're probably going to beat me. It tends to happen when I say something like that about uh, one of them... So John Graham is going to be in net for Florida, and we're going to go with some Thomas. And we won, 42. So then O'Shara was the first star, he had an assist. Sar Sergei Samsonov was the second star with a goal and an assist, and Sheldon Surrey was the third star, but he didn't get any points. Uh, we outshot Florida 46 to 16, and we did play at home, so we had 13,594 people in attendance. That's not great. Alright, we took a 3 0 lead into the first period. Joe Thornton. From Zdeno Sharon and Patrick Elias, and then Daniel Alfredson on the power play from Derek Morris and Matt Cunnan, and then Magnus Arvidsson from Daniel Alfredson and Joe Thornton. 3 0 after one. Then Florida scored, made it 3 1 after two. Then we traded goals in the third period. Uh, Tim Connolly scored his first on the power play uh, to bring the Panthers to within one. Uh, but a couple minutes later, Pavel Datsyuk scored from Alexey Yashin, made it 4-2, and that was our final score. Yay! We're on a little streak here. We haven't lost in uh, this month. Uh, no, that's not true. Boston beat us. Oh, Boston. Mike O'Connell got fired in... Nashville. All right, so Nashville is struggling. They are four eleven and one, so they decided to fire the coach, and Rick Dudley is going to be the new coach there. All right, and we are about to play Buffalo at home. Uh, Bobby Alec in Buffalo is back from suspension, back in the lineup, so just in time to play us. Matt Sundin has scored 400 goals in his career. A goal against Dallas managed to do that. Alright, so we are hosting the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, Buffalo is 6-8-2 this season. They are 11th in the East. And we have not played them so far this year. Let's take a quick look at their lineup. Marty Biro and Dominic Ashek in that. That's pretty good. Ashek is 37 and still a four star goaltender. Philip Boucher, Nick Boynton, Keith Ballard, uh, Doug Janik, Ronnie Sundin, Brian Campbell, Keith Carney, Peter Svoboda, and the, yeah, that is all right. Uh, Ulf Dellen, Patrick Marlowe, uh, Daniel Paye. Uh, is it Brian Adams, I think? Yes, Brian Adams, Rem Murray, Eric Rasmussen, Eric Bagunaki, Bobby Alec, Steve Connor-Walchuk, Maxim Afinaginov, Donald Odette, Mark Gregg, and Jason Pomanville. All right, so Buffalo starting to shape up a team a little bit. There is good potential in that team. Not all the players have reached potential, though, but uh, they're getting there, I think. All right, Martin Bureau in net for Buffalo. We're going to go with St. Thomas. I don't think Ryan Meller has played so far this month. And we won 3 nothing. All right, shout out for it, St. Thomas. All right, so we outshot Buffalo 44-28. to St. Thomas was the first star. He had 28 saves and a shutout. Zed O'Shara was the second star with a goal, and Brian McCabe, the third star with a goal as well. 16,025 people in attendance to see that shutout happen. And apparently all the goals were scored in the second period, so Brian McCabe scored short-handed from Mike Seninger and Nicholas Hagman. Then Zdeno O'Shara scored from Bill Guerin and Alexey Yashin, and Anton Volchenkov scored his second from Joe Thornton. 3-0 is the final score. Alexey Zitnik is suspended in LA. He's going to miss five games. 
30 years old, I see Zitnik, two and a half stars, so... Red Light stays on for Yarmir Jagger, Hattrick three goals against the Islanders. And we are playing in Carolina in two days. So Brad Ferens is available on the waivers. And I am not picking him up. And Marianosa is about ready to not be injured at all anymore, which would be great. All right, Marianosa is completely healed, and then there's been a trade between Boston and St. Louis. All right. So Adam McCulley and Anu Toivonen are going to St. Louis for Mike Van Ryn and Stefan Fizet. Hmm. Interesting trade. Like both goaltenders are throw ins in there, I guess. I, I am not declaring uh, anybody having the hopper on in that one. Alright, so we are going to play the Hurricanes. They are. They just fired their coach not too long ago. They are 5, 10, and 3 for 13 points. They are 13th in the East. And we have won against them at home 6 2 earlier this year. Alright, so Tim Thomas is still going to be in net for us. No rest for the weary, I guess. And Steve Veliket is going to be in net for the Carolina Hurricanes. Oh, we lost in overtime that one, 2-1. to one. Wow. Carolina pulled a, a fast one on us there. Uh, we did outshoot them 48-19, to 19, but we were unable to solve Veliket, apparently. So Joe Merzig was the first star. He had an assist. Brian McCabe, the second star with a goal. And Stephen Valiquet, third star with 47 saves. Probably should have had the first star in that one. So Brian McCabe opened up the scoring in the first period from Datsuk and Eliash. And then Carolina, Carolina tied it up. It was 1-1 all the way into overtime until Jeff Sanderson played the hero and gave Carolina the win. Alfredson is day-to-day -day with dehydration. How did that happen? There's Gatorade everywhere on the bench, dude. How could you let that happen? Maybe you had a stomach bug or something. Maybe you had food poisoning. I had food poisoning before. I ended up in the hospital. Okay. Oh, no one could stop Corey Stillman, who had a hat-trick three goals against Detroit. Memorable game for Daniel Cleary, who had four assists against Edmonton. And in that same game, Ethan Morrow has a memorable game. He had three goals and an assist. Wow. A few really good performances last night. And now we're about to face Montreal. That's me growling. I have a growl. All right, so we are about to play the Canadians. So Montreal is 9, 8, and 2 so far this season. They are in sixth place in the East. Uh, we lost our only game against them this year, 4 to 2. So I wish, or I hope, or we better win. I don't know how to call it. Right, Dwayne Rolasson in net for Montreal. We're going with Sim Thomas again. I guess Alain Vigneault decided that Ryan Metter is not playing this month. And we won 3 2. Alright. We outshot Montreal 42 20. Patrick Eliash was the first star. He had two assists. Brian Savage for Montreal was the second star with an assist. And Marion Osa was the third star with an assist. Uh, 15,535 people in attendance. Uh, 
most of the scoring was done in the second period, so Zeden Oshara opened up the scoring, his fifth of, of the season, short-handed from Mike Salinger and Marianosa. Then Saku Koivu tied the game up at one, uh, but then Derek Morris scored from Patrick Eliash and Joe Thornton, and then Pavel Datsuk is fifth from Patrick Eliash and Chris Phillips. 3-1 to one after two. Montreal would score with 40 seconds to go in the third period, make, make it 3-2. But they ran out of gas, and we won this one. And we are about to host the Columbus Blue Jackets. Oh, Craig Button might be fired. Is that when he's going to uh, become an insider or whatever on TSN? All right, so Dallas might fire him. Dallas is 8-3. 13 and 1. And Craig Button is a general manager, not a coach. Scouting reports. Delete. Daniel Alfredson, not far from returning. I hope you've been getting a lot of fluids in your body. All right, we are about to play Columbus. So Columbus has a decent record of 9 9 and 2. For 20 points and we have not played them this uh, this year so far so mark savard is hurt so they did trade for mark savard in a in an interesting trade and stefan robida is also hurt not gonna play and chris nielsen may or may not play he's hurt as well manny fernandez and manny legacy in net so that's pretty good brett edekan yanni Ninima, jason woolley rostislav klesla Matthias Nordstrom and Sean O'Donnell. That's a pretty interesting D. Pretty good. Wendell Clark and Russell Johansson. Rick Nash, obviously. No, he's not full-blown Rick Nash yet. He's only a three-star potential. Huh. Okay. Uh, Steve Carrier, Darby. Yeah. It's not an incredible team, but it's not completely bad either. So, Manny Fernandez and net for them, and we're going to go with some Thomas. And we lost 3 to 2. So we outshot them 38 to 23. Chris Simon was the first star for Columbus. He had a goal. Andreas Dackel, the second star for us with an assist, and Manny Fernandez, third star with 36 saves. Uh, 13,912 people in attendance. Joe Thornton was uh, the first guy to score a goal in the first period on the power play from Zdeno Oshara and Patrick Eliash. And then Bill Guerin on the power play as well from Andreas Dackel and Matt Cullen. It was 2 nothing Sands after 1. Uh, but then uh, Columbus scored in the second period, made it 2-1. to one, And then they ran away, ran away with the win in the third 3-2, the final score. All right, and Daniel Alfredson is ready to go. Not hurt anymore. Yay! All right, and tomorrow we are playing against the Maple Leafs. All right, so Toronto is 9-10-1. They are ninth in the East. We won 4-2 the first game we played in Toronto. It was right at the start of the season. I think the second game of the season or something like that. And now we're playing at home. So let's see if we can beat them again. Jean-Sébastien Giguère in net for Toronto. Tim Thomas, until he just keels over in net apparently, is going to go ahead and play for us. And we won 3-1. to one. We outshot Toronto 51-18. to Jean-Sébastien Giguère was the first star despite the loss with 48 saves. Eric Cole, second star with a goal. And Alex Yashin, third star with an assist. We had 14,295 people in attendance. Toronto actually took a 1-0 lead in the game. It was 1-0 after 1. And then Joe Thornton scored on the power play from Yashin and Eliash. And Magnus Arvidsson on the power play as well from Bill Guerin. It was 2-1 Sands after 2. And then in the third, with 2 seconds to go in the game, Pavel Datsuk scored in an empty net, assisted by Sheldon Sorry. 3-1 the final score. 
Uh, we are about to play the Islanders again. Alright, so we played them not too long ago. I looked at their roster. We beat them 5-2 and we are playing in Long Island again uh, since we played them last. The Islanders are 8-12-1 now and they are 13th in the East, so they are not doing too good. Tim Thomas in net for us. Roberto Luongo for the Islanders. And we won for nothing. Shut out. So, oh. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so we outshot the Islanders 48 to 7. They got 7 shots on goal total. Zdeno Shara was the first star, he had two goals. Alexi Yeshin, the second star with two assists, and Sheldon Sorry was the third star with an assist as well. Marian Osa was, scored his fifth of the season from Yeshin and Datsyuk. And then Thornton from Alfredson and Eliash. It was 2 0 after one. And then Shara scored a couple goals in the third period. Thor uh, first one from Thornton and Derek Morris, and the second one from Yeshin and Sorry. 4 0 is the final score. A night to remember for Radek Dvorak, who had a goal and four assists. Wow, five points against Carolina. Vancouver won 10 to 4. And in that same game, Yerki Lume set everything up with a goal and four assists. Next game is in Washington. So Washington is 11th in the East with a 9 and 14 record. It doesn't get any better in DC. All right, it's the first time we are going to play them this year. So let's take a look at their team. Jason Allison is injured. That's not going to help them. That's Pretty much their best player, except maybe for Peter Bundra and maybe Gunchar. So Olaf Kozig and Milan Lichka in net, and then Marty Yarventi was picked up for waivers and he's now in Washington apparently. Uh, Sergey Gunchar, Sergey Gunchar is hurt; he may or may not play. Uh, Kevin Aller, Gustafsson, Millar, Hill, Ferenc, Lepuschuk. Oof, that D is. Spuddy at best. Andrew Brunet, Jason Badrill, Patrick Lebeau, Matt Penninger, uh, Ansi Tormanen, Glenn Metropolit, Brent Gretzky, Helmanen, Clark Wilm, Bondra Halpern, Pascal Dupri, and Vladimir Orsa. That's not a great team. They have a few pretty good players and a bunch of people that just can't follow. Tim Thomas forever and ever in net for us, and Olaf Kozig for the Washington Capitals. And we won 7 to 2. <clears throat> we outshot Washington 59 to 15. Daniel Alfredson was the first star with a goal and an assist. Sheldon Sorry, a goal and an assist as well. And Marian Osa, third star, a goal and an assist. Uh, we scored four times in the first period. Patrick Elias on the power play from Datsuk and Yashin. Then Alfredson from Shara and Suri. Yashin from Matt Cullen and Martin Avlet. And then Yashin again on the power play from Joe Thornton and Pavel Datsuk. 4 nothing Sands after one. Patrick Elias scored from Alfredson to make it 5 nothing. Then uh, Washington scored was 5-1 after two. Uh, then Washington scored again, make, made it 5-2. Then Marianosa scored short-handed from Zdeno Shara, and then on the same <laughs> power play, Shadon Suri scored short-handed as well from Marianosa. Wow, you don't see that very often, uh, a team that scores two short-handed goals on the same power play. Wow. 7-2 the final score. Oh. Sean Avery is not suspended in Detroit. A night to remember for Andy McDonald, who had a goal and four assists against LA. Pretty good game. Uh, Alexei Zitnik is back in the lineup for LA. Claude Lemieux is suspended uh, in New Jersey. He's, gonna, he's, he's going to miss six games. Ah, starting to struggle to speak. Suspension over for Nas Lund. Back in the lineup in Philly. 
And Brad Richards is suspended in Tampa Bay. He's going to miss five games. It's too bad that Sergei Fedorov stopped being suspended. We could have seen if he would have gotten like 53 games of suspension or something. That would have been very interesting, but he just decided to start playing clean, I guess. Wow, we're about to play the Islanders again for the millionth time this month. That's also the last game of the month. Wow, that creeped up on me. I didn't notice that it was already there. I could have continued to play without noticing. What's wrong with me? I guess I'm a little tired. All right, so uh, the Islanders are now 8, 14, and 1, 17 points, 14th in the East. They're probably sick and tired of seeing us. We just beat them 4 nothing on their ice, and they had a whopping 7 shots on goal. So they probably don't even want to play this game. Roberto Luongo in net. Oh, oh. I guess uh, Alain Vigneault is feverish. I think he's running a fever. He's sending Ryan Miller in that. What's going on? And we won 8-2. So we outshot them 40-26. Bill Guerin was the first star. He had two goals and an assist. Joe Thornton, the second star with a goal and two assists. And Derek Morris, third star with two assists. So Matt Collins scored his first of the season from Derek Morris and Mike Selinger. Then the Islanders tied it up. And then Mike Selinger scored short-handed from Brian McCabe and Daniel Alfredson. It was 2-1 Sens after one. Forgot to mention we had 16,085 people in attendance for that one. So there's that. Uh, and then in the second period, Todd Bertuzzi scored his 10th to tie the game up at 2. But after that, it was all sense. So Magnus Arvidsson from Zdeno Shara, Bill Guerin from Anton Volchenkov and Niklas Avlid made it 4-2. And then Alexey Yashin on the power play from Derek Morris and Joe Thornton, 5-2 for the Sands after 2. Then in the third, Joe Thornton scored his 10th from Andreas Dackel and Bill Guerin. Then Bill Guerin scored his 10th as well from Mike Fisher and Nicholas Avlid. And Matt Cullen scored his 2nd on the power play from Alexey Yeshin and Joe Thornton. 8-2 the final score. Alright, strong night for John Leclerc in Montreal who had a hat-trick against Philadelphia. Dynamic passing leads to productive night for Ray Whitney in San Jose, who had four assists against Phoenix. Good little game. Alright, development report. Okay, okay. Ooh, and the players of the month are Chris Osgood for Detroit and Zdeno Shara of the Ottawa Senators. Look at us, a defenseman of all people. All right, so let's take a look at the standings here. So we are first in the East with 33 points. Um, that's a six-point lead over the Boston Bruins, who are uh, second in our division. And then if we look into the West, so we have Detroit, Colorado, Phoenix, Vancouver, Edmonton, Anaheim, Columbus, and St. Louis. Yeah. Oh, so Nashville is now the worst team in the league. Atlanta's kicking. They, they're starting to win a few games. All right, let's take a look at our stats. So Zidane then Oshara had a pretty good month, uh, apparently. So Thornton has 30 points in 22 games. Yashin 25 and 22. Shara 23 and 22. Elyash 21 and 22. That's 20 and 22. Alfredson 15 and 22. And that's starting to go down a little bit. And then it uh, kind of dwindles down from there. I'm a little bit disappointed with Marinosa. I really want for him to do better than that. He has 11 points in 21 games. He definitely can do better than that. Come on, Osa, you need to shake it off, man. All right, so that's it for the Suns. And now if we look at the entire league, we have Yarmir Jagger and Timu Selani, who both have 19 goals and are first in the league in that category. Mario Lemieux is the best passer with 24 assists. Thornton is third with 20, so that's pretty good. 
And then uh, Timo Solani has 36 points, and he's first in the league in that regard. And Joe Thornton is seventh with 30 points. That's a pretty good. So I don't know what uh, what happened. Usually when we have so many games to play in a month, it takes me about an hour. I don't know if I've been speaking fast or if I've just not been, you know, talking a lot of fluff stuff or whatnot. But uh, we uh, we escaped this one in about 45 minutes. So that's pretty good. So I will uh, go ahead and save my game so that we're right there when we come back of course prior to the next video i am going to fix the pictures for uh, time number two million eight hundred and seventy three thousand four hundred and thirty three or thereabouts i might have exaggerated by one or two lost track a little bit um, so i'm gonna go ahead and fix that and we will resume and go ahead and play in december of 2002 uh, but for the time being i want to thank you for being here and watching this and as usual if you've liked the video feel free to like subscribe share and all that good stuff and until i roll this game again i'll see you guys next time thank you